It seems the Republican Party remains enmeshed in a struggle between the more mainstream or establishment elements and the supporters of the so-called Tea Party movement, more con- more conservative, more uh, interested in uh, less or limited, much more limited government. Do you see this um, friction being resolved anytime soon? And do you think it will continue to play out during the 2016 presidential election? I think it will be an ongoing uh, struggle within the Republican Party. And realignments, obviously, you know, occurring has been occurring. Um, you know, and it's multi-dimensional, and so that struggle will be ongoing, regrettably. And I think one of the unfortunate, you know, aspects to the challenges within the Republican Party is uh, the inability to accept diversity of views, you know, under the Republican umbrella. You know, in the past, you know, we, as a you know moderate Republican, you know, we worked alongside with conservative Republicans. We understood that. You know, on the basic, yeah, yeah, yeah. Conservative yeah. Democrats. Yeah, no. It, oh, yeah, and Republicans. Yeah, yes, and conservative Republicans because Indeed. we were, you know, we worked, you know, together on the basic principles that, you know, frankly, uh, were the foundation of the Republican Party, which was limited government, strong national defense, individual opportunity, and individual freedom. And unfortunately, we departed from many of those views and didn't accept or tolerate a diverse views within the Republican Party. It came, became um, sort of one-dimensional on several questions to the exclusion of differing views within the Republican Party itself. So ultimately, it's facing this fractured you know, approach, a fractured base, and um, it may take a while to sort through uh, in the years ahead. But hopefully, we can return to the traditional principles on why I became a Republican many years ago and what the Republican Party is all about. I mean, President Reagan used to say, let's focus on what we agree, don't focus on what we disagree. Because we agree about the 80 percent of the key issues that are important uh, to this country and to the Republican Party and why we're Republicans, uh, not on the 20 percent uh, where we might disagree and differ. Uh, but unfortunately today, if you're not 100, 110 percent, then you can't be a Republican. And that's just unfortunate because you can't develop and evolve into a governing majority party in the final analysis. It certainly can be sustainable um, if you're not uh, broader in your views uh, and more tolerant and inclusive. 